What's going on guys? This is Tribal Dima bringing you a AUG domination gameplay on the map summit using the dual mag attachment. Uh, this is a requested gameplay. One of you subscribers asked me to do an AUG gameplay and here it is. Uh, unfortunately, I skipped about the first minute of the game trying to cut the video down a little bit. Uh, I didn't get too many kills. I think I got like seven kills, died like three times. So. Um, yeah, this is a new kill streak starting off all over again. Um, I apologize I haven't uploaded a video in well two weeks. I just haven't had the energy to do it. I've been working a lot and kind of sick of playing video games in general. So I haven't really, I haven't really touched anything with uh, my recording equipment at all in like two weeks. But something gave me the uh, the will and the motivation to make this video, so I just did it, and I hope you guys like it. So today we are playing with the Love Machine, Green Ranger, and Sean, and we're tearing shit up. Uh, this is Xbox gameplay. Um, pretty much, pretty used to the Xbox controller. I've been playing for maybe three weeks, and uh, I don't miss the PlayStation controller at all. And I thought I would, but honestly, it doesn't make any difference anymore. It's uh, it's like walking and chewing bubble gum. So. Uh, yeah, so um, I got the Escalation map pack, and I am quite impressed, you know. Uh, just about every map pack that Call of Duty series has released has been pretty much absolute junk. Um, even from the start of Card 4, like, I wasn't really a big fan of Chinatown. Um, yeah, so, like, maps like Salvage, I wasn't a big fan. So every map pack, I, I, I really didn't have high hopes, but the Escalation map pack definitely definitely was a good map pack. Uh, the only map I'm really not a big fan of is Convoy and I feel like there's just too many kids sitting in the overpass trying to camp it up and it's kinda it's pretty frustrating. Um, although I haven't played that map too much in larger base gameplay I've only been playing Search and Destroy so I don't really I don't really know the flow too much as well as uh, some of you may. But Convoy is definitely not a favorite. Um, I think if the if that map didn't have those two overpasses where uh, I guess the snipers would hang out, I think it would be a better map. Um, yeah. So moving on, uh, zoo zoo is pretty cool. It's pretty complicated. There's a lot of shit to uh, you can hide in. There's a lot of there's a lot of corners. You pretty much have to check in order to be good at that map. And um, it's gonna really show who's uh, who's good at this game and who's just the biggest camper. So. Um, what else we got? What else you got? The zombie map. That's just fucking crazy. The zip lines, there's flippers, you can have like seven perks. I think I've played maybe three games of Call of Dead and I'm getting better at it. I already know a few track points where you can just run up zombies. Nothing much nothing too different than any of the other ones, but um they added a lot of Easter eggs and a lot of achievements that are pretty difficult to get. I think we spent like two hours trying to do one of them last night and neither one of us or nobody in the room can really give a final answer it's for the uh, ensemble cast if somebody could uh please explain that shit to me that'd be awesome watched a few youtube youtube videos and uh i didn't really get much from it but uh yeah what other maps we got we got stockpile which i think is an awesome map um i think it's a great search and destroy map you can really block off choke points really easily you can see exactly where the enemy runs right out the gate um it, it's a small map per se but it can be very large as far as uh area to move around in there's a lot of escape routes there's like three entrances on each side of domination a and, a and c so i think that's a pretty good map um, the garage sliding doors are pretty funny. I've seen a, a, a triple kill and a quad kill right at the beginning of a search match where everybody just died in the other team from being crushed by the door. So that's just pretty humorous. Uh, you're probably going to see a lot of funny kills where kids drop off claymores or set little traps and I think that's pretty cool. It gives the game uh, a new change of pace, makes it a little bit more interesting. Uh, kind of like what they did with the zipline idea, but I think it's a little bit better. Uh, it also helps out because when you're playing such a destroy, you can really control your surroundings a little bit better than, uh, say, any other map. Um, so what did I say? I've, I've talked about Zoo, I've talked about Convoy, I've talked about Stockpile, and Hotel. Hotel is a very interesting map. It reminds me of High Rise, and... High Rise was definitely a fun map, but I don't think Hotel is going to exactly meet that same criteria just because it is a little bit larger. 
and it is a lot easier to camp in your own spawn and uh, the whole elevator shit yeah it was cool at first um, I thought it was pretty interesting but now that I keep playing this game is there's groups of teams where they just sit in the elevator every single one of them and like it's not that hard to take them all out but then again there's always that one other kid camping next to the elevator and it just gets a little bit out of control um, but like I said I've only been playing search and destroy I haven't really been playing team deathmatch a little bit but it's just too campy at first I haven't played any domination I played a little bit of demolition and that's going to be a full later gameplay uh, on the hotel where pretty much I'm only going to put up the first round but it was my very first time playing hotel and I think I was like 29 and 1 and it was just too easy to spawn trap and I'm already not a big fan but as far as search and destroy it's a pretty good map as long as you don't have anybody uh, camping the way way back yeah so um yeah definitely press with the map back um, rumor has it there's gonna be one more before modern warfare 3 comes out so it might even get better like i said the map pack is called escalation and if you really think about it it's just uh... it's getting more intense and pretty much more creative as they go so i'm kind of looking forward to see what else track it has to offer us before um... activision and i think it's activision go with the new the new call of duty so uh, definitely pretty cool um, if you guys have any response to what your favorite map is I definitely would like to hear that um, uh, just to point out one of you asked me to do an Uzi gameplay alright I've been trying I've had a few games where I was like 42 and like 12 or something on a team deathmatch I believe and that was a pretty decent game um, I died one too many times so I haven't really posted it up that gun is impossible to use man I mean no matter what you can get the first kill off no problem but when you're like surrounded by two or three or, th or even more people and you gotta reload and try to kill that other guy before they kill you very very difficult but I'll keep trying I'll uh, keep using the Uzi see if I can get a nice gameplay for you guys it'll happily happen eventually um, it's just very frustrating right now especially that I don't want to lose the game I'm playing or the match so I always end up switching to another gun uh yeah so this map's about to be over um had a few good tiers i want to say uh around here i get kind of stupid i don't know where to go i assume they're going to keep spawning a but that definitely didn't happen and um yeah so if you want to see more gameplay please let me know please let me know what guns you want to see uh perks kill streaks do you want to see another game besides Call of Duty? Um, so far, this channel is dedicated to Call of Duty, but I think I might switch that up. All right, guys, this is Terrible Dima. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah.